my ideas of human and nature, humans and nature, is that we as humans need to take care of, um, of nature. We need to start making sure that we are not putting so much plastic in the ocean, that we start cleaning our air, um, being aware of our carbon footprint, um, because obviously there are uh, very obvious examples of climate change and global warming, so we need to make be aware of what we're doing and what products we're using so that we can have this world for a long time. And in nature, I think um, we heavily depend on the nature, but uh, nature is not, uh, nature can survive without human beings and, and it survived for millions of years. And I think uh, it's impossible for human beings to conquer nature, to control nature, because uh, nature is unpredictable. And it is always surprising us from different uh, perspectives, from different angles. And on the other hand, I think nature is human's, um, human's best teacher, because uh, we are inspired from nature and a lot of creations we have uh, the technologies uh, for example airplanes we have is mostly inspired from the nature the person that comes to my mind when I think about humans and nature is the relationship that the two have with one another um, humans are part of nature even though I think many humans don't want to believe that they are part of nature, they are part of a separate uh, world, um, but the first thing that comes to mind is just that relationships that humans have with nature, more so than the relationship nature has with humans. Okay, my second, second question is, what do you think the relationship between human and nature for now? For now, I think it's a very dismal relationship. I think, like I said earlier, how humans don't think they're part of nature, so they don't necessarily respect nature. So they sort of, instead of, it's like that image of the ecosystem and then the ego system where humans think they're in the middle and nature just sort of surrounds them. We have climate change going on, we have deforestation, we have uh, pollution of our oceans and our streams and our lakes, and humans just don't, have a good relationship with nature because they don't feel like they need to have a relationship with nature. They assume that nature revolves around them as opposed to humans being part of nature. Okay, the last question is, do you want to add anything for human nature, this topic? Yes, I think it's very important to just sort of keep in mind that relationship between the two and how humans are part of nature and that nature's witness was is actually what fuels humanity like without nature there is no human existence so for humans to just sort of think that they are separate from nature i think it's very dangerous because without nature there are no humans so i think it's something to keep in mind for uh, humans is to sort of understand where their place is in nature and respect nature thank you so much thank you Well, human and nature, at first, uh, the dawn of time, it was humans trying to overcome nature, trying to thrive in an environment that was very hostile. However, now we have gotten the resources and the intellect to master nature, and we dominate nature. So I think we're at odds. In the beginning, we're at odds, but now it's the tables are skewed, and we're now completely in control of the situation. Yeah, my second question is, what do you think the relationship between human and nature for now? For now, as I said, when you become or when you lead the dance, so to speak, it's your job to pick the direction where we're going to go with this. It's our moral and ethical values that have to be reflected in the future we're going to pick for nature. And those being, you know, preservation, conservation, and making sure that our waste is being dealt with in a very efficient and uh, efficient and productive way.